welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to solve uh, the problem related with the chepicho filter design okay so you see the question given the specification alpha p equal to 3 db alpha s is equal to 16 db fp equal to 1 kilohertz fs equal to 2 kilohertz determine the order of the filter using chepicho approximation also find h of s okay so what is the question for the given specification we how to uh, design the chepicho filter okay so that is we how to uh, find the transfer function h of s of chepicho filter okay so uh, in order to solve this problem first you should know the design procedure of the chepicho filter okay uh, so already i posted the design steps to be followed for the chepicho filter in the previous video okay so already we discussed so if you want to uh, learn that video means so you see in the description box i given the link so you just click that link and first watch that video and uh, come back to this in order to solve the problem okay so what is the steps to be followed in order to design the chepicho filter means so first we how to find order of the filter then we how to round off to the next higher integer then we how to find uh, the poles of the particular filter after calculating the pole we how to find denominator polynomial then numerator polynomial then if you are dividing we can get the transfer function okay so this is the shortest thing so first one you are uh, note down the given data what are all the data given alpha p alpha s f p f s okay alpha p alpha s here uh in given in db okay so next problem is with some different specification we are going to solve okay and fp is 1 kilohertz fs is 2 kilohertz okay but in our order of the filter formula uh, not fs fp is there omega s omega p is there what is omega s it's a stop band frequency omega p is a pass band frequency but that frequencies are radians per second but here the frequency pass band and stop band frequency is given in hertz okay so first we have to convert that uh, hertz frequency into radians so what is omega p the omega p is calculated by 2 pi fp so 2 pi into what is fp 1 kilo 1 kilo means 1000 so the answer is 2000 pi radians okay similarly the stop band frequency is calculated by 2 pi fs so 2 pi into fs is 2 kilo so 2000 so the answer is 4000 pi okay so alpha s alpha p we calculated okay so now we are having uh, alpha p alpha s omega p omega s okay four data is that so we how to proceed as per the procedure so the first step uh, in the design of uh, analog but chepicho filter is the first one we how to find order of the filter okay so you know the formula so in this uh, problem alpha p alpha is given in db so that's why we how to choose the first uh, formula uh, n is uh, what is the formula n is greater than or equal to cos h inverse of square root of 10 to the power 0.1 alpha s minus 1 divided by 10 to the power 0.1 alpha p minus 1 divided by cos h inverse of omega s omega p okay so you simply substitute alpha p alpha s value what is alpha s 16 so square root of 10 to the power 0.1 into 16 minus 1 divided by 10 to the power 0.1 alpha p is 3 divided by cos h inverse of Uh, omega s is 4000 pi divided by 2000 pi okay so you just uh, using calci you just find the answer so we can get 1.91 so the order n is greater than or equal to 1.91 okay order calculated what is the second step the second step is to we how to round this n value to the next higher integer so if you are rounding 1.91 we can get n equal to 2 okay so our given specification is a second order filter okay n equal to 2 so second order filter means uh, we can get the two poles s1 and s2 okay and here you see the n value is either odd or even even so if n is even means uh, you know as per uh, that graph the oscillatory curve it starts from 1 by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared okay if n is odd means 
the oscillation starts at n equal to 1 okay so already we discussed in the previous video you know in the design so you see the graph so this is the graph uh, you see if n is odd means the oscillation starts at uh, uh, 1 if n is even means the oscillation starts at 1 by square root of 1 plus epsilon square okay uh, so it is a thing so the first step second step over and third step what is the third step in order to find out the poles first we have to find out the value of a and b what is a a is a minor axis and b is a major axis of the ellipse okay since here in chepicho filter all poles are located in a shape ellipse okay so that's why we have to find the minor and major axis okay so you know the formula for a minor axis what is the minor axis value a equal to omega p mu power 1 by n minus mu power minus 1 by n by 2 similarly b is here instead of minus here plus so if you want to calculate a and b first you should know mu so what is the formula for mu mu is nothing but epsilon inverse plus square root of epsilon to the power minus 2 plus 1 so if you want to find mu we have to find first epsilon so what is epsilon the epsilon is nothing but square root of 10 to the power 0.1 alpha p minus 1 so here alpha p given 3 db so square root of 10 to the power 0.13 into 3 minus 1 so you just find the answer is 1 so epsilon is 1 so after calculating epsilon you substitute the epsilon value in mu formula so uh, 1 inverse 1 inverse means 1 by 1 1 only plus uh, square root of 1 power minus 2 that is uh, 1 by 1 square it is also 1 plus 1 so the answer is 2.414 okay after calculating mu you substitute in a formula and b value okay so a equal to what is the a a you see uh, omega p what is omega p omega p is a path band frequency what is the path band frequency 2000 i okay into mu is 2.414 to the power 1 by n where n is the order what is the order we calculated 1 by 2 so uh, 2.414 into 2 to the power uh, 2.414 to the power 1 by 2 minus 2.414 to the power minus 1 by n divided by 2 okay so using calci you just find the answer for this we can get 9 10 pi okay as it is this pi you keep so uh, for remaining you just calculate it's a 9 10 pi Similarly, the major axis, the major axis of ellipse B is calculated by omega P into mu power 1 by n plus mu power minus 1 by n divided by 2. Okay, so instead of here minus, here we have to put plus. That's all the same thing. So we can get the answer 21975. Okay, so after calculating the minor axis and major axis, the next step is to we how to calculate the poles of Chepicho filter that lie on the uh, ellipse. Okay, so in that, so the poles are calculated. So you know the pole formula, the poles are indicated by SK. So SK is equal to A cos pi K plus JB sin pi K, where K is nothing but K ranges from 1 to up to N. So here the order of the filter n is equal to 2. So that's why here k value is from 1 and 2. Okay, k is 1 means S1. That is the first pole. k is 2 means the second pole S2. Okay, so a, b calculated. So in order to find out sk, we have to calculate pi k. Okay, so where the pi k formula, you know, the pi k is nothing but pi by 2 plus 2k minus 1 by 2n into pi. Okay, where k ranges from 1 to n, so 1 to 2. Okay, so for that, first we have to find out uh, if k equal to 1 means, okay, if k equal to 1 means pi 1, the first angle we have to find out. So pi by 2 plus, you put k equal to 1, so 2 minus 1 by 4 pi. Okay, so here 2 minus 1, 1. So pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So pi by 2 means 90 degree. 5 by 4 means 45 degree. So 90 degree plus 45 degree, it's a 135 degree. Okay, similarly, for k equal to 2, uh, for k equal to 2, the second angle, pi 2 is 5 by 2 plus uh, 2k. So 2 into 2, 4. So 4 minus 1 by 4, pi. So 3 pi by 4. Okay, so 5 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4. So the angle is 225. So pi 1, pi 2 calculated. 
okay so you substitute this uh, pi value a value and b value in our pole sk formula so you see s1 yes, there are two poles since uh, the order of the filter is 2 so s1 yes, s2 yes, so the first pole s1 is a cos pi 1 plus jb sin pi 1 okay so you substitute the value a what is a uh, the a value is so you see the a value is 9 10 pi okay so 9 10 pi 9 10 pi into cos of 135 degree means we can get the answer is minus uh, 643.46 pi okay similarly plus j b b is so the b value is 2197 pi into sin of the pi 1 is 135 degree we can get the answer 1154 1554 pi okay so this is the first pole similarly the s2 is calculated by a cos pi 2 plus jb sin pi 2 so the pi 2 value is 225 degree so you substitute we can get the answer like this okay so you see this two poles in a uh, in temperature filter if uh, the that is the two poles are complex conjugate so you see these two poles are complex conjugate that is if the first pole is a plus jb means the second pole is in the structure a minus jb okay the real part as it is it will come the imaginary part plus j it converted into minus j so you see minus 643.46 pi here also minus 643 real is same imaginary you see here plus j here minus j so the two poles are complex conjugate pole it will come in chepichev this is the uh, uh, that is the important property of the chepichev filter okay so the two poles are calculated then the next step is to we how to find the denominator polynomial so the denominator polynomial it is nothing but the denominator polynomial is equal to s minus the first pole into s minus the second pole s2 okay so s minus of so the first pole you see minus 643.46 pi plus j 11 1554 Okay, into s minus the second pole you just write. Okay, then uh, this minus if you are giving so s plus six forty three point four six pi minus or minus uh, here minus of plus minus j this. Similarly here we can get. Okay, so here you see this is the real part, real part. This is the imaginary part. So this roots are like. Uh, Uh, a minus j b a plus j b so a minus j b a plus j b means it's a a squared plus b squared okay so a squared plus b squared so this is the denominator polynomial okay we calculated then the next step is to we how to find the numerator polynomial so depending upon the value of n okay if n is odd means we how to follow the first step if n is even means we how to follow the second step so here what is the n value in our problem the n is equal to 2 okay order of the filter is 2 so n is even so if n is even we have to follow the second step so if n is even we have to substitute s equal to 0 in denominator polynomial that value you just divide by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared that is the numerator polynomial okay so n of s is equal to in denominator polynomial you just substitute s equal to 0 that value you just divide by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared okay so uh, you see the next step so this is the denominator polynomial so in this denominator polynomial we have to substitute s equal to 0 we can get uh, the numer numerator value okay so uh, in this s 0 means So six forty three point four six pi the squared plus one five five four pi squared. Okay, this is the thing. So therefore, the numerator polynomial is equal to the denominator polynomial under s equal to zero divided by one plus epsilon squared. Here, what is epsilon one? Okay, already we calculated. You know, so you substitute. So find the answer one four one four point three eight pi the whole squared. This is the numerator polynomial. Okay. so numerator calculated denominator calculated so therefore the transfer function h of s equal to the numerator polynomial 1414.38 pi the squared divided by the denominator polynomial what is the denominator polynomial you see this one s plus 
643.46 pi the square plus 1554 pi the square okay so you just expand using a plus b the whole square formula okay so you just uh, convert into s square s term and uh, constant term means we can get like this okay so this is that transfer function of uh, chepichev filter for the given specification okay so this is the first problem okay so first we are calculating the order using the formula second step we have to round off the n value to the next uh, uh, highest uh, integer then third one we have to find the major axis and minor axis a and b then we have to substitute the a b value uh, in pole equation so in order to calculate the pole we want uh, one more thing angle pi the pi k formula is pi by 2 plus 2 k minus 1 by 2 n into pi okay so after calculating the poles uh, uh, then we have to find the denominator polynomial it is by multiplying s minus first pole into s minus second pole okay then the numerator polynomial is calculated by uh, substituting s equal to 0 in denominator polynomial and you just divide by square root of 1 plus epsilon square okay then if you are making the numerator divided by denominator we can get the transfer function of the complete chepichev filter okay uh, so thanks for watching my channel and uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos if you want to learn all lecture videos related with the subject digital signal processing or discrete time signal processing in my channel in the name of uh, discrete time signal processing and dsp one playlist is that in that playlist all lecture videos are available in order you can learn or i will give link for that playlist in the description box you can refer it okay and uh, we will see the next uh, Uh, in next video we are going to discuss about the analog chepichev filter design with a different specification okay in our first problem alpha p alpha is given in db here instead of db there may given in this format means how to solve we will see okay so thank you we will meet in the next video